Welcome to the TSIS Merchant Solutions Card Processing Academy. In part two, we offer an overview of the money flow in the card payment process. As outlined in part one, the majority of card transactions follow the same basic pattern. A cardholder presents a card for payment. A business or merchant accepts the card and transmits card and purchase information to a payment processor like TSIS Merchant Solutions. The payment processor routes the card and purchase information to the appropriate card brand, which sends the information to the card issuer. The card issuer approves or denies the transaction request and sends the response back to the card brand, which sends the response to the payment processor, which notifies the business or merchant. If approved, the card payment is accepted. If not, the cardholder is offered another way to pay. The money flow to reimburse the business or merchant for the cardholder purchase follows a similar pattern. The card issuer, who ultimately bills the cardholder, pays the card brands. The card brands pay the payment processor. The payment processor pays the business or merchant. Along the way, card brands levy interchange fees based on a number of factors, including the amount of the cardholder purchase and the type of card used. The card brand fees are passed on to the payment processor, who also levies fees based on the processing services provided. Ultimately, all fees are passed on to the business or merchant and typically deducted from the reimbursement for the cardholder purchase. In Part 3 of Card Processing Academy, we examine how to limit the fees associated with accepting cards. Learn more about TSIS Merchant Solutions Card Processing Services.